Hey guys, Frox here, hope you're all well. What you're looking at in front of you is a switchless Sega Mega Drive Genesis to my American friends. <laughs> if you look on the right, you'll notice a PCB. Now, this is a little PCB I've had manufactured. It's actually in prototype stage and it contains Seb's awesome switchless code. Now, one of the problems when installing Seb's switchless code into a Mega Drive is Sega manufactured uh, different revisions of the Mega Drive. Um, some of them have high reset, some of them have low reset. Now, basically what that means is if you have a high reset, when you press this reset button, it sends a high pulse out to reset the Mega Drive. And if you have a low reset, when you press this button, it sends a low pulse out to reset the Mega Drive. Now, installing Seb's switchless code into a low reset Mega Drive is easy because Seb's switchless code was originally designed for the Saturn and that is a low reset system. So installing it into a low reset Mega Drive is fairly easy. The problems start when you want to install one into a high reset Mega Drive. And what you have to do then is you have to invert the output coming out of the 16F630 using a 74 LSO4 that inverts the output from a low reset to a high reset allowing you to install it into a high reset Mega Drive. Now because of this you have to make two separate boards one for a low reset Mega Drive one for a high reset Mega Drive uh, and that can be a little bit stressful for modders because a modder really wants to know what system you have before he gets it so he can manufacture the board beforehand now what i've done is i've made a little prototype board where you can select whether the reset is high or the reset is low uh, and it's as simple as that that's all it does guys it just allows you to select do you have a high reset or a low reset so what i'm going to do is i'm going to whip the lid off this mega drive and i'm going to show you one of these boards installed Okay, as you can see, I have the board whipped off the Mega Drive. This is a VA4 Mega Drive, which means it's high reset. And the jumper is set to high, and you just install it like you would a SEBS install for a high reset Mega Drive. And it works exactly the same. Now what I'll do is I'll go and get my low reset Mega Drive and I'll show you the board installed in that. And as you can see, this is a low reset Mega Drive. And if you look at the jumper, it's set to low and the board is installed exactly the same way as if you was installing a SEB switchless code into a low reset Mega Drive. So what I'll do now is go and get my Sega Saturn and show you it in a Sega Saturn. Okay, what you're looking at in front of you is my Sega Saturn. Um, the reason it doesn't have the lid off is because I don't need the hassle of um, fixing the laser. Um, also, the actual switchless board is buried deep inside the Saturn, so if I did have the lid off you wouldn't see it anyway. Now what I've done is I've taken the battery out the back of my Saturn and when you do that every time you power on you get this screen wanting you to set the language and the time and date. Um, the reason I've done that is because I want to show you how the switchless mod works. If you've never seen a switchless mod before, um, if you look at the bottom of the image you can just see a little black border now that's in power mode and that's indicated because I'm in green what I'm going to do is hold the reset button and you'll see the LED cycle and I'm going to tell you what the different colors are green is obviously power which is what I'm in at the moment orange is US and red is Japanese and all you do is you cycle through the colors and when you get to the region you want 
which in this case is US. You let go of the reset button, the console will reset. And obviously you'll be in US, so I'm just going to cycle through to get to orange, which is there. I'm going to let go. The console resets. And now I'm in US mode. Now you can tell I'm in US mode. Well, you can tell the frequency is uh, 60 hertz because the image is flickering. And now that's because we've got different shutter speeds in PAL regions. We've got 50 hertz short speed and obviously the, the TV is now in 60 hertz and the short speed doesn't match up so that's why you've seen that flickering and you'll also see that that little border has disappeared now I'm going to do the same again I'm going to cycle through the regions but this time I'm going to stop on red for Japanese orange red let go console resets and as you can see this time we've got Japanese text so we're in Japanese region now what I'm going to do is reset that back to UK here we go resets back to PAL uh, and that's pretty much how a switchless mod works and that's what's in this Saturn now what I want to explain now is about this prototype board. Um, I've actually made two versions. Uh, one is a through hole version and one is a surface mount version. Now, what I'm going to do now is release the Gerber files for the through hole and the surface mount version. And what that will allow you guys to do is take those to any decent PCB manufacturer and they'll be able to make the circuit board for you. Um, some of you may be going, why am I not selling these boards? Um, two reasons. One, because I'm using 100% SEBS code, um, I wouldn't feel right using his code and selling boards and making money from that. That wouldn't sit with me very well. Uh, the second reason is I is I, I don't need setting up payment methods uh, and delivery methods like that. It's far easier for me to just release the Gerber files. You can take them to any PCB manufacturer and get those manufactured. So yeah, guys, that's my prototype board. By the time this video goes out, I would have released the Surface Man and the through all versions of this. Um, if you look in the description below, I'll have a link to the Gerber files so yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Hope you like this video. Like, comment, subscribe. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Yeah, a region free BIOS Sega Saturn with a switchless mod playing Resident Evil. It doesn't get much better than that. Well, it actually does because it's chipped also. 